guys and gals. Welcome back to G-Man's World. Uh, I know I said in the past that I wasn't going to be doing any other videos until after I got my workbench uh, built, but uh, things arose. I don't know if you've been keeping up with my uh, weight loss documentary, but um, somewhere in between me picking up my last uh, scrap metal uh, uh, about a week, at a week ago, a week and a half ago, I guess, I uh, hurt my hand actually my middle finger here it got uh, really swollen up and everything and I uh, haven't been able to actually get in there and uh, build my workbench uh, I do have all the supplies I just I'm gonna try to do it this weekend if I can um, I've just now been able to to uh, actually close my wrist or my hands my fingers um, still very sore uh, I can't move it upwards like I'd like to do, but downwards it's sort of finally um, gotten a lot better where I can hold stuff now. Now I can't grip stuff as hard, as good as I want to and grab a hold, but at least I can, you know, hold, you know, some minor stuff. So today what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to show you uh, how to take apart uh, some of these gutters that I got. Um, there is metal in them but it's mostly aluminum, so you can get a uh, better aluminum price, or get the aluminum price, uh, old sheet aluminum, I think is what they call it, if you get the uh, steel out. And basically the tools that you will need is this ratchet right here, a hex bit, I think it's a quarter. Yeah, a quarter hex bit is what I'm using. Um, other gutters may use different sizes, I'm not sure, but uh, your screws are, most of the time your screws are going to be uh, steel. So what you do is that, and the other tool is a magnet. Okay guys, before we go to the aluminum gutters, I wanted to show you this, uh, this pole I got. Um, it was like an antenna pole. <clears throat> when I checked it when I was out, uh, out picking up stuff the other day, uh, I thought it was all aluminum, but it was, you know, kind of dark, so I just hit it with my magnet real quick and then I put it in the truck and I thought it was all aluminum. I got it home and found out that part of it is steel as you can tell by the magnet sticking. Uh, the other thing is is that basically anything that I've ever come across that is rusted it's going to be steel too so it sticks. But this right here is all aluminum. So what I would do is I'd take a cutting wheel and I would cut right here right around here and then this part would be your steel and this part would be your old sheet aluminum and then of course I'd take this part off also and throw it in uh, with your steel so that's what I wanted to show you before we get to the gutters um, and the gutters are basically going to be the same I'm going to show you what I got um, one other thing is uh, I didn't mention uh, if you have a um, small truck or uh, I, of course, don't have a trailer like I do. Um, you can use a cutting wheel and actually cut these things up, and they cut pretty quickly. Um, so just wanted to let you know that. All right, guys, here is the uh, aluminum gutters. Um, there was actually more of these gutters over here, but I already taken some of it apart, and I was able to get it to my uh, local scrap yard and uh, get some money for it. But uh, this is what's left. Just wanted to show you what all it is and uh, I'm going to show you right now uh, how to take some of this stuff apart. Um, one thing I want to stress is, let me pan in here, um, these gutters here, or at least the ones that I have, uh, are all aluminum except for the, uh, the screws that uh, hold the pieces together. Uh, even the brackets, uh, the bracket that you're seeing like right in the middle right there, it's aluminum also. Um, basically it's the, uh, the nails, um, I guess that they, I guess it's the wood nails that they put in to the back of the wood to put the gutters up and also the screws that I'm going to show you here in a minute uh, that you have to take out. Uh, they're both steel and then the rest of this is all sheet aluminum. So uh, you can get the sheet aluminum price, and I think right now what it's going for is 
depending on where you are um, and also depending on who you know at the scrap yard also I've, I've noticed that too since I've been scrapping if uh, you do a little business um, with somebody a lot of times you end up getting a better price at uh, that scrap yard than you would at another scrap yard so I would say that this uh, aluminum would go for somewhere between as of right now between 43 cents and 48 cents a pound uh, I don't know exactly exact amount but I do know I get somewhere around uh, when I go in there around 46 cents a pound sometimes it's 48 cents a pound uh, I guess it uh, changes you know by the week uh, depending on how the aluminum price has gone up but I believe I am getting it on the uh, higher end uh, in fact I know I'm getting it on the higher end than uh, what uh, normal people would be if they were just showing up every so often um, since I'm a, uh, a local and, and show up all the time and doing business with them they sort of give me a bigger uh, price for it but uh, that's one other thing you have to take into consideration when you uh, you uh, start doing some recycling and stuff and going to different places you want to see how willing they are to uh, uh, I guess pay you in certain different amounts you know if you start to become uh, loyal to them uh, if they will uh, actually uh, give you more uh, for your for your aluminum or anything your steel or anything like that um, now I will say this uh, there was one yard that I went to that I really liked the people, but uh, they started jipping me. Um, they started, uh, it was uh, 10 cents a pound on, uh, actually going for 11 cents a pound at the time, steel. And uh, I went to drop it off and they had dropped their price to 10 cents a pound. And uh, when I bet, went back the next week, they had dropped it to 9 cents a pound on my stuff. And all I had was steel on the truck. So you have to watch some of these uh, uh, recycle yards that uh, you know I even I even questioned it but uh, they said no that's what the price is and all this stuff and uh, so I started going back down to uh, a place I used to go to and uh, I'm getting it for 10 cents a pound now so anyway uh, enough ado of that and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get the steel out of the the gutters Okay guys, I'm just going to show you a couple of really quick ones here. Um, on here, this this gutter, piece of gutter, as you can see, um, all of this is, a, is aluminum, all aluminum. Um, all of this here is aluminum, but on this side here, if I can get up there closer to you, uh, if you can see them, yeah, these are screws. Now, this one right here, like no duh, these are screws. Um, and this is a screw here. And of course, they stick. Of course, my magnet is a little bit heavier, but you can tell that they stick. But they won't stick here. So I just wanted to show you that. You have to take this stuff off. This is usually a, a down around the uh, the turns, I guess you would say, the corners. Okay, uh, the screws are also located on the down spouts. Um, they come down, you know, down from the top of your uh, your house all the way down. Uh, this is one of the sort of the curved spouts that you can see the end of it. Um, and then, of course, is the uh, ooh, there we go. There is a screw here screw here and let's see a screw here and then you got a screw here and then of course if you turn around you got another screw here I've loosened all these up to try to make it a little bit easier for me um, hopefully I can take all these apart pretty quickly yep, there we go um, one one other thing is you'll find that like these right here that I've got um, they were painted or they put so, something, some kind of rubber coating on them, which made them really tough to try to get off. So uh, anyway, I got the screws, as you can tell, right there. 
get them off. I'll throw them in my pocket real quick. Hopefully I won't forget about them and sit on them later. But uh, anyway, um, you should be able to pull this stuff right on apart, just like that. That's one piece. And then this is the second piece. Might not be able to do this one as easy and with my hand. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off at all. <clears throat> I mean, you don't have to do this, but I'll make it a little bit easier because I have a, uh, ah, there we go, that one came off. Um, I have an aluminum bin that I put on my sheet aluminum in. Uh, what I do is, I think I've talked about this before, um, I uh, have dishwasher bottoms or sides, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, that's the, basically the wall of the dishwasher, um, the ones that are plastic. So basically it's the ones that are newer versions, uh, probably 1970s maybe, to maybe, but I'm thinking maybe 1980s and on up, uh, and maybe 1990, I don't know, when they actually switched from metal tubs to the plastic. But uh, I use the plastics, uh, so they're reusable too, so I basically have recycled them into something else totally different from what they uh, they were actually intended to do. And uh, what I do is I'll drill a bunch of holes, about 20 so holes uh, in the bottom zone. So when it rains, uh, most of the time, unless it gets really filled up with uh, leaves and stuff like that, and it will happen, um, but it will drain out, drain all the water out, and then you don't have any mosquitoes or anything. It just, and the water all runs out. And then basically you're left with all your uh, scrap or recyclable metals. So um, for that, that's the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, like I said, if you have a smaller truck uh, and don't have a uh, trailer or anything like that and you have to make them a little bit smaller, go go to uh, one of the, the box stores or whatever and get you a uh, cutting tool um, or cutting wheel and uh, cut through all those uh, uh, gutters and everything and uh, you'll be able to shorten it up and all that and be able to take it down there to your local scrap yard and but just uh, don't forget to get rid of the screws so um, do me a favor and uh, hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom and uh, give me a like uh, give me a comment uh, if you have any questions or anything uh, ask ask questions I'll try to uh, explain a little bit better in depth if need be or uh, maybe you have uh, some other way of being able to do it a lot faster than I can uh, so I, I would love to hear that so uh, give me those suggestions too so anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, do me a favor and like like the video subscribe and all that and I'll see you next time bye